Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some really cool space saving slash multi-functional furniture, not even just for small spaces, but really for any home. Obviously this past year, our homes have just become the hub for everything in our lives. So having items that can function for multiple purposes, can turn into something else, can be storage, is really essential for every home right now, regardless of the size. I have so many recommendations that I'm gonna be splitting this into two videos because it is way too long to make into one video. So I'm gonna go through nine today and nine in my next video for 18 total. Some of these items I have in my home and some of them I found online. So if you have any of the ones that I'm mentioning that I found online, leave a comment down below how you like them, if they're worth the money so that we can all know if it's a good deal. So let's get started because we have a lot of things to talk about today. So something I think that we all probably have in our homes are sofas, couches, sectionals, and there are so many options for convertible sofas, storage sofas, so I wanna share some of those with you today. The first place that I think of when I think of multifunctional furniture is Ikea. So I wanna show you some Ikea pieces first and then show you a West Elm couch that I think is really cool as well. So this first one here, I don't personally own this, so again, let us know in the comments if it is good, if it's comfortable, but this one is a sleeper and a storage sectional. So as you can see, this little video is gonna show us, it turns into a bed, but the chaise also has storage if you lift it up and you can store the linens, pillows, anything that you might need to make up the bed. And if you're not using it as a bed for any guests, you can just store any extra blankets in here. So it really is the definition of multifunctional. I also wanted to mention this day bed. My parents actually do have this in an Airbnb that they have. It's really nice because it's kind of just like the size of a standard couch, but it can pull out into a full bed. And then it has these three drawers at the bottom for additional storage and you can just push it back when you're not using it. And then just kind of put pillows on it and dress it up as more of a couch. And if you don't have space for any of those things, I would recommend this piece from Ikea. This is actually a sleeper module, so it's basically an ottoman that turns into a little bed. Again, I can't vouch for the comfort level of this, so if you know how comfortable it is, let us know in the comments. But I think this is really cool if you are short on space, because look at how small and compact it is, then it pulls out to be a bed. This could be a really good option if you have kids or like smaller people who might be staying with you. I don't know if it's good for full-grown adults, but I think it's a really, really cool option if you're short on space. A more expensive option that I wanna mention is this sleeper sofa from West Elm. So as you can see, it becomes a bed, a sofa, and you can also lift up the seat for extra storage. So really sleeping, sitting, and storage. If you can get all of those things out of your couch, you're in good shape. Another multifunctional sleeping option that's really making a comeback is the Murphy bed. I feel like these used to be all the rage. They're making a comeback because I would guess millions of guest rooms this past year have been converted into home offices. So if you need a place to have an office but also use as a guest room, I would look into a Murphy bed. They're very expensive, obviously. But if you have the money and you have been looking for a solution like this, these are a really good option. You have your desk and then it just plops out into a bed when you have guests over. If you're looking for more of like a separate sleeping and desk option, or maybe you don't have the space for a large Murphy bed, I would recommend getting one of these secretary desks that is like a little cabinet, but then when you need a space to work, you can pull down the shelf and have a little working space. You can put this literally anywhere and you can buy these anywhere. They have them at Target, Amazon, you can probably find them on Facebook Marketplace, Wayfair, Ikea. They have items like this everywhere, but these are so good for small spaces. You can make them look beautiful and look like just a piece of decor, but they're super functional because it can hide away your laptop and all of your cords and everything. And then when you need to work, you just flip down the desk. Another popular option for multifunctional seating is the trusty dusty. 
storage bench, right? I feel like the storage bench really kind of started it all. But I love this one from Ikea. I really like the dark green. The legs have a little bit more interest than most normal Ikea pieces do. And obviously it's major for extra storage. You can store shoes, blankets, anything you want. And that way, you know, if you have a small space and you need extra seating when guests come over, pull it up to your coffee table, pull it up to your dining room table, and you have extra seating for people as well. I love storage that looks chic and cute or that you can't even tell is storage. So I love a storage bench or a storage ottoman. Another one of my favorite multifunctional furniture options is a coffee table with nesting stools. I saw this in a friend of mine's house like a couple years ago and I was blown away. I thought it was the coolest thing ever, but I'm gonna show you this example from Bob's. So this is literally a coffee table and four stools for $300. So the stools just push right under your coffee table. They even have ones that the stools are also storage ottomans. So not only do the stools push into your coffee table, but if you pull them out, they can also become storage. Even Crate and Barrel has like nesting stool coffee tables now. And I feel like stores like Crate and Barrel never used to have multi-purpose furniture because they were kind of like exclusive to people with larger homes and larger budgets. But now it doesn't even matter like how much space you have. All of us are living kind of multi-purpose lives at the moment. So Crate and Barrel even has this beautiful coffee table. I think this is stunning. Like I would buy this. I would buy this if it was in my budget because <laughs> I think it is just gorgeous. So I feel like when places like Crate and Barrel are kind of getting on this multi-purpose furniture trend, that's a sign. Next up, we have to talk about the iconic pop-up coffee table. I feel like this is like signature West Elm. Whenever I think of West Elm, I think of this table. It's a bestseller for a reason because it's so functional. It comes in two different sizes, four different colors. I actually used to have this table. I left it with my parents, but I found mine on Facebook Marketplace for like $300 maybe. And it is sturdy. Like that thing would survive a building being collapsed on it, I'm positive. It's so sturdy, it's so heavy. If you don't have space for a coffee table, a dining room table, a desk, this is all those things in one. You can have it just as a regular coffee table, but then this pops up so you can eat your dinner, you can do work, it has storage inside. I'd highly recommend it. They have dupes for this everywhere now, but if you do come across the West Elm one, like secondhand, I would recommend buying it because it's such good quality and I don't know how good of quality the dupes are yet. But let me know if you have a dupe in the comments and if it's good quality and if it's worth the money. Another table slash desk option are these folding TV trays. Again, I feel like something from my childhood that's making a comeback. We used to eat with these TV trays all the time before there was things like pop-up coffee tables. And we bought this set of four on Amazon and we use them all the time. We use two as a side table for our couch and the other two we use for a lot of things if we wanna go eat outside. I use this all the time if I wanna sit and work on my couch instead of in my office or at my dining room table. I'm using this right now to set my computer on as I'm filming this video. So these are amazing and I love that this set in particular comes with this little holder. So you don't have to find closet space for them. You can just put them in their holder and put them off to the side and they're amazing. They are the number one bestseller in folding tables <laughs> for good reason. If you're like me and you really just prefer eating at a dining room table instead of on your couch with a TV tray, I totally get it. There are some amazing expandable dining room table options. Again, we're going back to Ikea, we must. This table is so cute. Circular tables are really good for saving space and this one expands to be a six seater. And the thing I love about this one in particular is that the leaves live in the table. With some expandable dining room tables, the leaves are not connected to the table. So when you take them out, you have to find somewhere to store them. And for a lot of people, that's just not an option if you have a small space. 
So I like that these just pop right out when you pull open the table. So you don't have to find an extra space to store your leaves. And when it's small and in a little circle, it's really compact and space saving. Another good option are drop leaf tables. So if you look here, you know, both sides of these tables fold down so you can use it as like an end table or a nightstand. But if you did, you know, want to have a couple people over or game night or something where you needed a larger surface, if you just pop both sides up, then you have a larger table. So that is it for part one of this video. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe and turn on the notification bell for part two. I'm very excited because I'm going to be starting by showing you the thing that I get asked about the most in my apartment. When people come over, they ask me specifically about two things, and I'm going to show you what those two things are in my next video. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I will leave any links in the description box for any of the products that I mentioned today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!